What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video. This one is on Battle Royale and look who we got. The new 96 Jason Dominguez. As a Yankees fan, I haven't had a lot to cheer for recently. They've been very, very disappointing to say the least. But as you can see, this Jason Dominguez looks to be a pretty good card. And if you think about him when he's actually paralleled up, you might have a very, very solid card there. Because right now it's 95, 96 against righties for contact and power. 91, 90 for contact and power against lefties. So he is at least serviceable against both sides. He's a switch hitter. Has a pretty good swing. I've been using his prospect card a little bit. And I like the prospect card. So this card is a juice version of that. Plus 20 for all hitting stats. And then he's got 88 fielding. That's going to be 90 plus when you get him paralleled up. 92 arm is great. Great reaction at 94, 94 speed. He should be one of the better outfielders in the entire game. So let's take Jason Dominguez, hopefully the future of the Yankees outfield. And it doesn't matter what team I get. We are going to play with it, but we will draft it out. El Gary just homered in real life, like not one minute ago. And Glaber, he's playing down, but I absolutely love this card in BR. Hitting 540 with him in 242 plate appearances, 56 home runs. I'm taking Glaber. My all Yankee squad. We'll go to the AL East here and get Vlad Jr. I could go still AL East with the Yankees. Go Clint Frazier. Do I do that? He's bad. I don't want him. But Frankie Montas is the alternative and he's just not good. I'm going to go Frankie Montas. So we'll burn the starting pitch around. Tyler O'Neill in left. Crushes righties. Works for me. Hunter Renfro. AL East theme. He's on the Red Sox now. I know this is a Padres version of the card. Unreal card. But Hunter Renfro is very solid. This team's coming together really nicely. I like Michael Lorenzen in the game. I love Yanni Chirinos with that sinker as a starter. Let's go with our first reliever, Josh Spores. Keone Kayla, I'm not very good with. JD Davis has been okay. Three doubles. There are worse guys to throw out there. Let's get JD Davis at third base. We will go with a common second baseman and Phil Gosselin. Used him before. I don't like this gold round at all. Outfield set. I don't really love Tommy Edmond, but he might be my best option at second base. Love Danny Santana as a bench bat, especially when he's playing up. Jose Alvarado is great. Ooh. Yeah, let's take him. Let's take Jose Alvarado. Archie Bradley's great. 70 mile per hour changeup in the game, even though I don't think he throws that in real life. Dwight Smith, let's take him. If you guys are new here, by the way, hit that follow button or that subscribe button. I got to remember what console I'm on or what platform. I can't even speak. We're going to go Freddie Galvis. He could play second base too. And now we're just stuck taking relievers. It's all about pitch mix in BR. It's all about pitch mix. No sinkers for these guys. We'll go Brandon Bilak because he has a cutter, even though he's playing down. JB Wendelkin's pretty solid. Would love a lefty. How about Chris Sale? Would love Aaron Bummer. Scott Alexander, I think, is going to work, though. Give me Bummer. We'll take Chapman. That works. This is a very solid team. Got to lead off Jason Dominguez for that speed in the number one spot. We've got a squad. Tommy Edmond is up. Or excuse me, not, not Tommy Edmond. I'm playing him at second. Danny Santana is moving to third base. He's got plus 20, essentially, against righties today. So he's going to be very, very good. I'm going to hit him in front of Glaber and Gary just to force a left-hander if he wants to do that so this could be a really really good team i decided to go tyler o'neill in the leadoff spot a little bit of pop and a ton of speed and then jason dominguez in the two all potential rbi spot so this is a really good team first game of the day hopefully i'm not too bad but this jason dominguez should be very very good i can't lose game one because i want to have at least four at bats with him he's got bruised r bryce Turang. how could you ever take that card and br and, and keep the team must have only had 1,500 stubs. I would have redrafted that immediately. 27-8, and eight, pretty good record. The great, great, great thing about Jason Dominguez is he's a switch hitter. So we have the platoon advantage, righty-lefty or lefty-righty. Doesn't matter what pitcher we face. But this is my first game of the day, so I might be a little bit rusty. Should have warmed up for my Dominguez debut, I guess, but didn't do that. See if he even finds his own with Bruce Dart. What is he going to do? Oh, sinker up. Couldn't touch it, but is he's slow in right field. He's not going to get to it. 99 speed. 
for Tyler O'Neill. He's getting around the bases and in it third with a triple on a late swing. But here is the man of the video, Jason Dominguez, future Yankee Hall of Famer, El Marciano. Now, Jason Dominguez has so much hype, man. It's impossible for him to live up to it, no matter how good he is, pretty much. So that sucks. But if he can be half as good as they say he could be, you know, he's going to be a very, very good player. As we were down one, two quickly. Oh, barely fouled it off. That's a pitch I like to hit. Just missed it. And that's down the middle and hit very far. It's the no doubter. Jason Dominguez on a hanging slider finds the rocks and cores. Center field, 462. Jason Dominguez unloads on one. Talk about a first AB. I should have watched the Jason Dominguez home run. That's my biggest regret in life right now. I wish I would have watched it. 108 off the bat on that one. As Danny Santana gets one, uh, gets into one. That one's going to be over the head of the right fielder as well. Danny Santana is such a stud in this game. He's got that switch hitter swing. He's a beast. And Glaber's going to ground out. That's a tough sinker. Error at second base, potentially. Glaber ends up getting there, but that is an error. And here is Gary. And Gary, deep to left. It is out of here. Gary is scary. The Kraken. The Sanchez goes yard. And we scored five here in the first. And that's even a better swing than the Gary Sanchez home run. But it is a fly out. Can we get him with the sinker again? Oh, he takes a swing at it. This is going to be a tough play for Dominguez. He got a really good jump on it. Can he get to it? No. Oh, it's going to bounce off the wall. If he has diamond fielding, who knows? Maybe he makes that play. I really thought he was going to for a second. A lot of ground to cover out there in center field, of course. But Jason Dominguez cannot make the play. And strike three. Got him with the sinker up and in. So Dominguez will bat this inning. Hitting a clean 1,000 with him. Love to see that. He's probably going to be up against Rysel Iglesias. Would love to set the table for him. Get some runners on base. It's not looking too good right now. So we are down quickly 0-2 to Rysel. And we actually ripped it into no doubter. Matt Joyce. Laser beam line drive home run into the first few rows. 106.7 off the bat. That thing was obliterated. And Tyler O'Neill tries to go back to back. Doesn't have the juice. Back to back jacks. Tyler O'Neill also into the first few rows. And we could look for three in a row with El Marciano. Jason Dominguez at the plate. He's going to go to a new pitcher. Rex Brothers. And we could try to hit a home run from both sides of the plate. With Jason Dominguez. And we get into one. And he hits it out of here. Back to back to back. Jason Dominguez. Two home runs in the same game. One is a righty. One is a lefty. And I got a little bit out in front of that one with Vlad Jr. Vladito flies out to the wall. Coors is playing pretty small today. Glaber up against the lefty. He's going to rip that one in. So the two-out rally continues. That's kind of my theme with the channel. I score all my runs with two outs, it seems like. Not so much with this video. But scored a lot of two-out runs. Scored like, what, nine or ten? In my ranked seasons video yesterday with Giancarlo. That, one's, that one could have been crushed. Give it back to me. Oh, good change up. 0-2 to Gary. Two strikes. Two runners on. Two's all over the place. And that's going to be a line out. Wrong side of perfect. Couldn't quite turn on it. That is the end of the second for me. So bottom of the second now. That's what I meant. End of the second for me. Still the second inning. But end of my second. At least at the plate. I'm going to shut up now. This will be a tough play for Glaber. I know only 17 speed, but still, that is a pretty close play at first base. And that is a pop fly to right field. Renfro is there. Inning over. We are up 8-1. So first game of the day doesn't seem to, be, seem to be a problem at all. I'm playing better than I usually do. Maybe that's what I should do. I should play one BR game a day. So that is always my first game of the day, and I go 12-0. Now, it would take me almost two weeks to do it. But hey, two weeks for a 12 0. It's better than my current rate. Tommy Edmond down the line and fair. We're going to hold one. Jason Dominguez could hit again. 
I say could because double plays exist, but Freddy Galva shoots it down the line. They're going to call that fair as well. I must have got some chalk down the first baseline. Tommy Edmonds going to score. Freddy Galvis, a big RBI double, and that will bring up Tyler O'Neill and then, of course, Jason Dominguez for a chance at a three-home run game. He just threw a fastball down the middle, and I whiffed. Go back to it. See what you can do. Go back to it. Nope. Goes to the slider or curveball. I stayed on it. Right fielder can't make the play with 99 speed. We might see Tyler O'Neill catch up to Danny Santana or Freddie Galvis, whoever is it. About to score right now, but no. Tyler O'Neill back to third base. And El Marciano, Jason Dominguez is up again. Three home run game could be possible. Okay, not on that pitch. Not on that pitch. And Dominguez, it's a no doubter. Three home run game for El Marciano. Jason Dominguez, big bomb. One is a righty, two is a lefty. One to left field, one to center field, and now he shows some love to right. Jason Dominguez is unbelievable. His swing is crazy. That wasn't even that good of a swing on that. And he sends it out. 12-1 victory. And I can't even get my thumbnail. We'll play another game. Why not? All right, so three at-bats, three home runs. Jason Dominguez OPS 5,000. 12 total bases and three at-bats. It's pretty good. That is the most you could ever have. That's crazy. I, I think I might like this Jason Dominguez card. Cannot wait to get him on my ranked seasons team. Throw him in the outfield. This has gone better than I could have ever imagined. We'll hop into game number two. I mean, Jason Dominguez could go 0 for 2 in this game. It wouldn't even matter. We're facing Brandon Kinsler. Looks like we have home field advantage. Kinsler does have a sinker. So I might struggle a bit. But it seems like I'm hitting pretty well right now. Roll it up. Danny Santana over to Edmund. Back on to first to Vladito. Double play. That one, I don't think Tommy Edmund makes his play. Maybe he should have tried to take a different angle to that one. Like, there's... Anytime it gets into the outfield, the first baseman never covers the bag. So, I, I probably just see... Or should try to see if I could track it down with Tommy Edmund. And with only 52 speed, we might have been able to get to it. It also might have been out of his reach. I, I get that, but eh, maybe. I hung that one. Nice play, Danny. It's a great effort at third base. And that has popped up. Hauser should be able to make this, and he does. So we will see Jason Dominguez now, as long as this guy chooses to stay in the game, which, why would he leave? So sinker, changeup, slider, four seam. Need him in the strike zone. It's not a good start. That was the home run pitch. I'm being too selective. Could have destroyed that one. And Dominguez rips that one back up the middle, so no homer here. We're going to try and stretch this to two. He had a weird animation in center where he didn't charge the ball that much, but Jason Dominguez gets to second base. Could we even steal third? Not the best jump in the world. We're going to hit and run here. And we're going to try and score 94 speed. Zoom in, and Dominguez is at home. Oh my goodness. So it didn't take Jason Dominguez long to find another run. I am speed. Renfro the other way. Be late, be great. That's why you don't auto shift. I know how to exploit it. Big time double for Hunter Renfro. Danny Santana rips it to the right field. We're not going to score on this. He's going to throw straight through to home. Danny Santana is going to get to second base. Oh, I really thought he would... Uh, <laughs> Throughout its second. We're going to stay at second and third. Glaber's up. Glaber's a walking home run in the game. Unfortunately, not in real life. Glaber's going through a pretty cold stretch. His last 100 games or so, Glaber's been really bad, and I missed it. I just missed it. So only one run. Even though I feel like I dominated that inning, I did not. Not at all. What Bryce Harper is this in the eight hole? Does he have a gold card this year? Not his live series, but he has that rookie flashback. Is that what this is? I am curious. No, it's his diamond. Just hitting eighth. Peculiar. You know, I'm starting to think this guy might not know what he's doing. Just a thought. Terrible swing with Gary. I'm going to need a bit of a rally to get Jason Dominguez back up to the plate. Completely underneath it again. What's wrong with me? Matt Joyce keeps it alive. Okay, we are one batter away 
from getting back to Jason Dominguez. Just need Tyler O'Neill to do anything positive here. Why am I doing that? And Tyler O'Neill keeps it alive. Okay. Runners on first and second. Two outs for Jason Dominguez. Looks like he's going to go to the bullpen. Giovanni Gallegos against Jason Dominguez. Big time matchup. Like, not a current Yankee versus not a current Yankee. What I mean, like, Jason Dominguez has never made the Yankees 40 man or act, like active roster. And Giovanni Gallegos used to be on the team, but was traded in the Luke Voigt trade. And Jason Dominguez rips it the other way. Oh, he is so good. We're going to score. Can we get three? I don't think so. We actually probably could have. He threw home. We would add third, but another big time double for Jason Dominguez. And that could be the game. Vlad Jr. back up the middle. Perfect, perfect. Jason Dominguez is going to score. He's never been up to the plate and not come around to score before for me. Wild stuff. 4 nothing. Could be 6 nothing here in a minute. Ooh, that's a frisbee slider. Renfro is going to line out. Good rip, but found a fielder. I don't know if this curveball is actually okay or if this guy just isn't okay. I think it's probably a little bit of both. Probably more of this guy sucks, but hey, no disrespect. And strike three. Got him. I like Jason Dominguez. He seems pretty good so far. Three home runs last game. Two doubles this game. He seems all right. So overall, I think I'm going to like this Jason Dominguez card. Five for five. Five extra base hits. Two doubles. Three triples. Seven ribbies, 16 total bases. <laughs> Almost have him up to parallel one in five at-bats. Pretty decent. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. This could not have gone any better. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Taking it back to the house, defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud. Speed burst good.